Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas on a beautiful fall day here. Look what I got behind me here. It's a Jayco Eagle HT 312BHOK. That's bunkhouse outside kitchen. This guy here is about 38 feet long, right at 10,000 pounds unloaded weight. It's a pretty big, pretty big trailer, but lots of features for your family and friends can't wait to show it to you. Before we get started, I want to point out three of my favorite changes in 2022 from 2021. So let me get started. Number one, in 2022, we have a Diflex Generation 3 roofing material. Why is that important? It carries a 20 year warranty. Number two, we have a handy place to stow our sewer hose. Doesn't take much to get me excited, but this is great. And number three, maybe my favorite, is starting in 2022, we have a smart TV. It's an Amazon Fire 4K smart TV. All right, let's check out this 312 BHOK. Again, we're about 10,000 pounds, so it's not super lightweight, but Jayco calls it an HT, that's half ton towable. That doesn't mean every half ton pickup truck on planet Earth will pull it, but a lot will. If you don't know, give me a call. I'll look up your truck specifically to see if you can safely tow this. That's an important step when you go RV shopping anyway very first thing you want to do is make sure you can safely and comfortably tow the trailer that you're looking at. We can help you with that. So let's get started. As is true with a lot of these Eagles, we have a really nice cavernous pass-through storage area. Look how nice this is. It's all clean. We don't have wires dangling down and so on. This is a true four-season camper, true four-season RV, meaning all the sensitive plumbing parts are up in the heated and closed underbelly of this unit. Another important thing about Eagles and Pinnacles and North Point uh, fifth wheels is these are warranted for full-time use. And Jayco puts that in print. They're warranted. Even if you're in this full-time, it carries the full two-year warranty and three years structural warranty. That's a really great warranty. You'll notice right here, right off the top, we have a Blackstone griddle platform with a handy place to store it. Now this unit doesn't come with a, Bl a Blackstone griddle on board yet because there's a shortage of them. We'll give you a coupon to redeem that Blackstone griddle when they become available again. But I love that there's a good place to store the platform right here. We have nice pass-through storage. Now across the front here, we have a, a tray in which you can put your generator. This is gen prepped. So if you want to drop a generator in here later, you can, we can do that for you. If you don't have a generator in there, you've just gained yourself a bunch of extra storage space up there as well. Got two thirties on propane up here, but one thing I love about this, we ordered this guy with auto leveling. So push button leveling. Uh, this is a fantastic feature. I love it. Right up here is where all the action happens. Once you get situated in your campsite, you can auto level, boom, push button, fantastic. Now, on the opposite side of the pass-through storage, you can see all the way through, and then our control panel right next to it for all of our hookups. Again, as always, Jayco takes the mystery out of how to set these knobs depending on your camping situation. Whether you're filling your tank, dry camping, you want to sanitize your tanks, just put these colored knobs in the right position and you're good to go. Our black and gray holding tank valves handy right here. Of course we have this pigtail hose here that we can pop up here on this quick connect, hot and cold, wash off your feet, wash off your dog, wash off your spouse before you let them come in at night, right? Very good. Got a direct spark ignition water heater right here. As is with every Jayco, look for these yellow stickers that'll be both on the curbside as well as inside the door. That'll have all of your weights and also the exact length of the unit. Handy reference point there. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here. So we got plenty of amperage to run all the goodies in, inside this guy. Furnace vent right there. Back of your refrigerator vent right here, we have a 13.5 cubic foot uh, gas electric refrigerator in this unit. Vacuum bonded sidewalls, which is true with Jayco's fiberglass products. All right, check out this outdoor kitchen on this unit. Popular feature, 
This is a practical and useful design. I do like this. We have this nice gooseneck faucet up here, plumbed to the holding tanks, right? So you can be washing up all the dishes here. We have two utility drawers right here. But what I love about this is this enamel surface. It's not laminate, it's not carpet. It's impervious to moisture, easy to keep clean, splash water, spill a beverage, spill a margarita, wipe it up, no harm done. I really like that. And a useful, nice sized refrigerator out here to put drinks, deli items, what have you handy right out here where you need it. Now that Blackstone griddle I was telling you about would pop right into this J port. Right here's the receiver. The, uh, it goes in here and you have your platform right here, so your Blackstone griddle's right where you want it. Now, we have power outlets in here, so you can have the coffee maker, the margarita, what have you, your blender up here, power outlet here as well. I've got light switches, so we have blue lights up here across the top, which is a really neat effect at night, and then your main lights, and then storage up above here as well really neat uh, layout <laughs> and of course you got to have a branded Jayco bottle opener perfect location for that really nice I like that and then the uh, top of this uh, actually becomes a cover for your cooking area so your awning obviously stops right here but you have this so you're still under cover in case you don't come up a rain shower provide some shade as well speaking of awnings look at this monstrous awning all right, I didn't bring my tape, sh tape measure and I should have, but what do we got? A good solid 20, 18, 20 feet. So I call this the fun side of the RV, right? The picnic table's out here. This is where the action happens. This is where the party happens. That comes out over the top of this and a neat added byproduct of this design is it also serves as a slide topper when it's out. So you're keeping debris and stuff from accumulating on top of this slide. You can always add slide toppers to any slide and these are prepped for it. We can do that for you, but the awning comes over the top of this entire slide and, and provides some cover there. Now we have a light under here, which you can't see because it's light uh, bright outside, but there's a blue light here that casts a nice pleasant light underneath the steps. So approaching the RV after, the, after dark, you can have a nice blue light here. Now going inside, you can grab a hold right here. These are the Moride Step Above Steps with this nice wide entry. Simply lift up, there's zero gravity. Each one of these legs is adjustable, so if you're on uneven ground, you can adjust these to suit. Super easy to stow. You simply put it there for the travel position and close the door. When you deploy it, you simply grab here and pull it down. Again, you don't have to be strong, because I'm not that strong to do this, drop it down. My mother-in-law, Sue, could do this. She weighs 100 pounds soaking wet. Sue could do this. Grab a hold right here and go inside, which is what we're gonna do now, and take a look on the inside. Okay, now we're inside of this 312 BH, okay. Love it, the slides are deployed right now, so we have a dinette and the theater seating in the slide. Notice the nice, classy fixtures up here. Hey. Dun, dun. That's about a, about a D, I think. Yeah. How about that? I didn't know you could play music on the, the light fixtures. This is exciting. I, sh I should have brought my guitar. I will next time. All right. Uh, anyway, classy, even, and apparently they make music too. Okay, we can convert this into a sleeping position, as is always the case with the dinette and Jayco travel trailers. We have theater seats. These don't convert into sleeping positions. Oh, but wait, yes they do, because when I'm watching the football game, I will be taking a nap here. So, uh, but yeah, they don't fold down into a true sleeping position directly across from the TV. I wanna point out real quick before we get into this too heavy, why do I love this floor plan in particular? It's got a bunk room, not just a bunk house. It's got a separate bunk room for guests or kids. It's got that outdoor kitchen that we just looked at with a black stone griddle and we got theater seating. Lots more neat features, but here's the options that we ordered on this unit. These are options. So second AC in the bedroom. It's a 13 and a half cubic foot fridge. Gen prepped, like I pointed out earlier. We have auto leveling, like I showed you just a minute ago. These theater seats behind me and a king bed. 
So we're pretty loaded up. Love this floor plan. I love this, and I call this the coffee bar. That could be a coffee bar over there too, but you never have too much counter space, and we have nice counter space here. So up top here, nice storage, which uh, this may end up becoming pantry type storage, but both below and above, and we've got two nice full extension drawer glides on these drawers. So plenty of storage here in this floor plan, which features an island. So don't always get an island in a bumper pull like this, but we do here. I like this one piece polycarbonate material impervious to moisture, right? And a double basin stainless steel sink with a high rise gooseneck faucet. This is a change in 2022, gone to matte black finishes instead of brushed nickel. I like the brushed nickel. This is pretty classy too. We have a three burner cooktop. This will be consistent from last year's model. Fold this up for, to become the backsplash. And then you have your backlit controls here, your ignition, your stovetop controls, and a neat little oven here. Not huge, big enough. And then below here, a lot of people point out that I don't always open that drawer. My wife pointed this out to me the last time, so honey, I'm opening this drawer this time. Still, full extension drawer glides, and inside here, I should have had these out for display, we have a strainer and a cutting board that'll go up into our sink. But storage under here, and then right next to this, we have storage that goes all the way to the outside wall. I'm thinking cookie sheets and other cooking items. We have a little, nice little cabinet there as well. So yeah, these guys just drop in here. Cutting board on one side and a sink strainer on the other. Very handy. Now, um, underneath the island, again, those full extension drawer glides. There's a lot of storage here. And then underneath the sink, quite a bit of storage. I'm thinking the trash can probably goes under there. Close these so you don't trip in them. Hey, look here. Tire pressure monitoring. Um, these are integrated into the valve stems already. Here's the little tool that comes with it. So this unit comes with tire pressure monitoring already on board. That's a neat feature, good safety feature. Now behind me, here's this 13 and a half cubic foot Dometic gas electric refrigerator. It's working, I can feel it. Nice big refrigerator. So um, this will work both off of propane um, or electricity once you have electricity available. Very nice. And behind me, uh, again, perhaps this is the coffee bar. We have nice countertop up here, storage, and pull out drawers right here. Plentiful storage up above. I'll try to point out these things when I come across them. This has is equipped with the observation system, so it has the rear camera mounted already. This unit also has side cameras mounted. This is your monitor, which will go in the dash of your truck, and you can monitor the action uh, behind here uh, from this monitor. So very handy. Go ahead and push these in, get them out of the way. Wide open spaces. Before we go to the front master bedroom, let's take a look at the bunk room, right? So coming in here, guest room, kids room, use it however you want. This bottom sofa folds out as a trifold into another sleeping position. So simply take these cushions off, lift up like so and pull out, drop the legs. And now we have a nice sized bed for a guest. A couple could certainly sleep in here. You can access it from either side. That was pretty easy. Put it back the way it was. Just that easy. Put these cushions back. And what's this guy up here? We have another bunk. Just release this to drop it down. Now we have another bunk up here. If you want to take this whole assembly out and you're not going to use it, you can do that or just pop it up out of the way and latch it right there and have a more open concept. We have a bunk up top here. 
with this nice mattress, very comfortable. Another light up here that I forgot to turn on. Did you draw the Mickey Mouse here? Oh, is there a hidden Mickey? Look at there, there's a hidden Mickey there. I wasn't gonna point that out. I was gonna ask later if anybody saw the hidden Mickey, but Brian just foiled it for me. Yes, there's a hidden Mickey. All right, I'm a Disney fan, I can't help it. So, hey, maybe this unit's headed for Fort Wilderness one day. This could be a sign, you never know. You can put, uh, you'll, you'll see these stickers on Jayco trailers. 300 pounds, 600 pounds, and it's a little misleading. Jayco defines single bunks and double bunks by how wide they are. This is a single bunk, 300 pounds. If two people can sleep up there side by side, it's a double bunk and it's 600 pounds. So anyway, you'll see these. I always like to point that out as a, as a point of clarification. You have a ladder here, which uh, makes it easy to get up into the bunk. We have storage underneath and shelf storage up here. There's TV hookups in there, so this is the obvious place to put a television if you'd like to. And then again, all these drawers can't have too much storage. Nice cabinet build, 75 pound drawer glides, full extension drawer glides. Very nice. And, but wait, there's more storage. Okay, so it just, I mean, good grief, this is a lot of storage for a unit like this. Um, like that, use every uh, amount of space that we can. Now, let's go up into the front and have a look up here. I like this radius, this really, this is really nice instead of having a 90 degree angle right here. Before we go back, I'll point out the BM Pro system, touch it to wake it up, go home. He can control climate, lights, motors, tanks, and energy levels on here. So, one of the neat things is the lighting. Uh, you have an infinite number of ways you can dim the lights in here. So if I want to dim the lights in the living room, I just drag this over like so, and I'm dimming the lights. Every room I can do that hall entry, just like that. I can check our tank levels here. Obviously they're all empty now. Our motors, like leveling motors, I can control it from here. Here's the neat thing. Put this BM Pro app on your phone. Everything you can do from this touchpad you can do from your phone. These are shortcut, just regular old-fashioned toggle switches for the lights. Handy, just come in, it's late at night, just hit that, turn the lights on. Into this bathroom, which is very nice. Again, I like this countertop material. Nice classy fixtures, towel holder over here. Medicine cabinet with notice a nice backlit behind it. Um, a lot of people are afraid they're going to break these when they come in because it's kind of tough to pull this. It's a really strong magnet. It's by design so this doesn't open up during travel. So you got to give it a tug and it'll open up. That's true with a lot of the cabinet doors on Jayco's too. You got to give it a tug because you don't want doors and drawers opening up on their way with all your stuff on the floor when you get to where you're going. Now, look how huge that is. Why is it so huge? I'll show you when we get in the bedroom, but this can be your washer dryer. These shelves would come out and your washer dryer combo unit can be in there. If you don't have a washer and dryer, you've just gained a whole bunch of linen space. Nice big shower. I'm six feet tall. Yes, I still weigh 188 pounds. So I have plenty of headroom up here, plenty of room for me to move around. Shower wand up here shower surround to keep everything dry and a nice glass shower drill door right here which opens like it's locked. Uh, it's locked right there yes sir I knew that thank you Brian very classy all right nice porcelain commode instead of plastic so I got kind of long legs plenty of room in here to maneuver and um, yeah nice Go look at the bedroom. There it is. I was looking for that. I always like to make sure, yes, you have everything you need to do what you need to do in there. All right, king bed, like I said. Again, king bed's a popular feature these days. A lot of us have king beds at home. Want to have a king bed when I'm out RVing too. We have storage on either side, so you can hang shirts up there. Same drill on this side. And then we have storage on top as well. You can control the lights with these toggle switches over here on each side. 
I come down here and lift up this bed. It's kind of dark, but we have a nice big storage area under here. I would probably put plastic tubs and put extra linens, clothes, that kind of stuff under there. Drop that back down. Now behind me is, here I'll open this up so you can see in. Again, this is where your washer and dryer would go. Shells would come out. It's already marked here. This is the location of the vent for your dryer vent. It's plumbed for a combo washer and dryer. And then we have storage under here as well. Now, another change in 2022 from 2021 that I didn't mention yet on the Eagles is they've gone to roller shades, soft clothes roller shades, instead of the pleated shades that used to be prevalent in all Eagles. I like these roller shades, they're complete blackout. Um, they're classy. I think it's an overall an upgrade. So you'll find roller shades on all Eagle trim lines moving forward. We have our extra AC unit up here that I referenced in one of the options that we ordered this with. And then of course we have television connections above here, right? Here's where the television would be mounted. You can do that. It's reinforced behind there to um, accommodate a bracket. If you want us to do it, we can do that for you too. Um, now notice um, how quiet it is in here because you probably can't hear the AC running. This is what Jayco calls whisper quiet. It's whisper quiet because it is quiet. The uh, AC units mounted up on the roof and because of the ducting system and the design, it's really, really quiet. Even though I'm sitting here feeling this cold air blowing on me and I've got this lapel mic, bet you can't even hear it. Really like that. All right, so again, we're in the 312 BHOK bunkhouse outside kitchen, about 38 feet long and a few inches and about 10,000 pounds unloaded weight. Give me a call if you'd like to come have a look at this. If you want some more specifics on it, I can send you the exact build sheet with every single uh, feature on it, every option, everything that's standard. Nothing like coming out and looking at it yourself and in person, but if you can't, give me a call. I'm happy to talk to you and happy to look up your truck. Make sure you can tow it safely. Again, my name is Mike here at Vought RV in Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.